Hi guys, it's it's Danny Stewart from BaseJapanDirect.com here uh, with another Naked Sound review of uh, the latest Atelier Z uh, to come in. And this one is the Beta 5 um, Deluxe. Uh, this is a cost performance Atelier Z and uh, you can buy it at this link up here. Um, it's a fantastic build for under $2,000 including shipping which is an amazing price for an Atelier Z. Um, but what is the difference between this and a high-end one, for example? Um, well, this is a, a maple on maple fretboard in a satin, satin finish. Uh, it also has titanium support rods as well inside the neck. Um, on the high-end ones, the necks are all all in one, just one piece maple, uh, and they are seasoned for a long time. It's old stock wood that's well seasoned and very stable uh, and that makes for a, a, the, the sustain and overall tone will be a little bit better um, than on a neck which is in two pieces maple on maple for example um, and has support rods according to according to Atelier C um, so uh, anyway, um, despite that, I still think it it, it has um, it has oodles of sustain and and tone. So um, I don't think that necessarily affects it that much. And uh, you know, it's pretty standard throughout the industry to have support rods, isn't it? But. This one is active. It has their new EQ on board, uh, which is three band. You've got mid, bass, treble. I'll just turn everything up here. That's a pretty sick sound, isn't it? And you've got your two volume controls. Front. You know, um, so you've got all those tonal varieties that you can get there. Ash body and the, the latest uh, iteration of the Atelier Z JB5, uh, JZ5 pickups, um, um, which have um, diagonal poles uh, to reduce noise. Um, and it's. strung as usual um, medium sized frets beautifully done can't really fault it at all great tuning pegs um, they're the lightweight Gotto's um, GB528s I believe um, the Gotto the bridge is, is downgraded from the up the uh, high end range this is um, a Gotto 205B uh, 203B5 um, Nice bridge though does the job very well. Um, whereas on the higher end ones, you'll get the um, the Atelier Z custom bridge, um, which is I think a better bridge. Definitely, it's like the Leo Kwan um, badass. All right, so let's get that loop down. Uh, front pickup, bass boosted, mid boosted, treble cut. Alright, now let's turn that treble up and double that up. Cool, let's go uh, balance now. Keep that set. Uh, we'll just have the uh, treble cut uh, mid and 
Bass boosted and spade some pause. Continue on the rear pickup, just play the groove and melody a little bit. So uh, that's the rear pickup tone dealt with really there, I think. Um, yeah, so let's go balance now. Um, we'll stick uh, with everything boosted on the preamp. Let's play a bit of slap. Uh, cut the let's put the treble at uh, sorry not treble let's put the mid at notch for more of a scoop sound Gives you a good idea of uh, the slap tone there. Um, same thing, we'll dial, dial everything up and uh, do a bit of zap. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. 
right, now let's um, cut the treble. Um, no, no, not cut the treble, sorry. Put the mid at notch again. So, I mean, that gives you a good idea, doesn't it? So, uh, yeah, in conclusion, um, I would say that for a bass that is um, just under $2,000 shipped, uh, for an Atelier Z um, with this grade of uh, ash for body material. This is light ash, this body. Um, and the build quality um, of Atelier Z is, of course, always perfect. Perfect fit and perfect finish. Um, slightly lesser hardware on the bridge here. Um, and just, um, I guess, the the construction of the neck is not so time com time and cost consuming as on the higher end instruments with the binding and everything um, but I mean they do have the the titanium support rods um, so yeah and for me um, I think the uh, you might notice the difference in you might notice the difference in sustain and tone between the high end and these cost performance ones with the titanium trust ro uh, the titanium support rods in in the necks but um it's negligible it's, it's a very small difference um i think and playability wise i think it's pretty much the same um um yeah, there's something a little bit more classy about the the, the higher end range, um, but I mean, you can't fault it for the money, guys. I mean, it, it's it's just it's fantastic for the money. As something that's under two thousand dollars, it's it's a no-brainer for a professional who's who's looking for a pro instrument on a budget, uh, on a lesser budget, you know. Um, so there you go you can you can get this at the link and um if it is gone don't despair because um we should be able to order another one in from atelier um the the uh production run is limited um so there may not be stock who knows um uh but it might be possible to order more in if it is uh, if it proves to be uh, a successful model they might well make more of them